Today I'm going to show you some fun and exciting balloon basketball dribbling drills for beginners or advanced players. Alright, let's get right into why use a balloon when working on your dribbling. Well, here's why. One, it'll help younger players, also older players that might be a little bit more advanced, stay engaged because every person loves a game within a game. The teaching point to the lesson plan focusing essential skill building in basketball is to teach players how to keep their eyes forward for court vision. And learning how to dribble a basketball, what we teach at the Tech Basketball Academy, the sweet spot. And the sweet spot is located where you want to keep the basketball right where the front side of your body, outside of your, say, right foot, enters into the side of your body. So right there is a sweet spot. I can turn my body and that ball can stay in the same place. And I never have to worry about a defender trying to reach and steal it, especially when you start trusting your handles. I don't like dribbling the basketball in front of my foot. That's where the defender's at. I want it slightly outside. And see, this also keeps my eyes on you at home and I can work on my peripheral vision with this balloon, right? It's almost like using a tennis ball too, but for younger players, this is really good because it will suspend in the air. And I'll get really fun and creative coming up, unlocking my creativity and imagination, but that's why. The whole point is learning how to keep your elbow also to the waist. The ball will stay in place by driving your elbow down. So even if you're older and you start making moves, you still want to keep your eyes up and focus on the balloon and make all these moves you want with the dribble. So let's get it. First drill for beginner to intermediate players I call balloon 30. You got to get 30 taps before the ball is the floor. You want to work on pounds. If you parents, coaches, you have novice players, but they love to use games to reinforce skills and learning and drills, then have them stay still, right? Have them stay still. Every tap is one, two, three, four, five, right? If they want to move with it a little bit, that's fine. That's cool, right? But we want to go 30 taps without losing. And again, my eyes are focused on the balloon on the taps and my dribble is at the sweet spot, driving my elbow down with my elbow to the waist so the ball can stay in place. Here I go, doing this for say novice to beginner players, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, the focus on the taps. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I'll make it challenging. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I'll let it come down a little bit. 27, 28, 29, and 30. Change it up. One, two, working on becoming ambidextrous. Three, four, five, six, seven. Push it out a little bit. Eight, oh, nine, bring it back. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. That was a close call early on, but that was pretty cool and that's fun. It made me take a leap, take off, not lose my dribble, keep my focus. I trust the ball was in the same position, balloon 30. To modify the game up, if you have now novice is like a beginner, beginner, to beginner to intermediate. Now they may be able to cross over, right? Right, go between the legs, cross over, keep it simple, right? But keep their eyes focused on the ball, on the balloon, not the ball, I should say, okay? We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. This is for more intermediate to advanced player. Now, we gotta mix up our dribble. So now it's all change of directions. Crossovers between behind the back. Uh, change of speed moves in and out on my taps. Same concept, balloon 30. Now I gotta go crossovers between the legs, behind the back, double moves before it really counts on my taps. Ready to go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Who knows how many dribbles I made, even though the dribbling wasn't the point. <laughs> but it was like not losing the ball and focusing on the taps. And I was having fun stationary, right? You can also do the same thing, modifying the skill. If you're older player, now making the same move. To also modify the skill, if you're an intermediate to advanced elite player, you can do this on the move by pushing it out and then go chase it and make different moves, right? Before you receive it, right? Random on purpose. Push it, chase it, don't lose it. Oh, I lost it. That was fun. That was fun. One more time. Here I go. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. And you can do tap 30, tap 40, whatever you want to do tap wise. But you're really working on the off hand, keeping it available and alive. Uh, yes. Keeping it up. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Yep. Good. Making it real challenging. But notice how I kept my ball bouncing from my elbow to my waist so the ball can stay in place, no matter what move I made. And then also, I kept my eyes on the prize, which is building court vision to keep my eyes on my defender because the ball has eyes and it's gonna find my targets. I wanna make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.